Hey YouTube. Before we get started, just want to clarify one thing. I'm not sure whether or not it's fanatic or fanatic. So I'll go with fanatic. So I'm about to unbox my first DD wheel, the fanatic CSL DD. So I built my kit. I'm gonna give you some reasons why I decided to build my kit and not just buy. I played mainly Gran Turismo 7. Before I get into the details of why I chose the Xbox wheel against the PlayStation wheel, let me unbox the items first and then we'll get into the details. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you like the content. All right, first thing I have here, I think is a quick release for a steering wheel. And here you have the quick, the quick release for the steering wheel. It's not exactly the quick quick release, but um, I guess it, it works. You need this to connect the wheel to the wheelbase. So it's a cheaper plastic version. I didn't get the upgraded actual quick release. That is what it looks like. This box we have the CSL DD third drive wheel. I just want to give a big shout out to Fnatic for shipping this item, these items quickly. So they were scheduled to be available. The availability date was the second, but I got everything on the first. So I was quite happy. So thanks to Fnatic for shipping these items out quickly. And here we have the wheelbase. I got an eight Newton meter power pack. So I can have the full experience of the direct drive wheel. I was thinking about getting the five millimeter, but when I thought about it, based on reviews and everything I've seen on YouTube, I don't want to go buy the five millimeter and then have to go spend money later to get the eight millimeter. So I got an eight millimeter new base. And yeah, heavy little fella. Man of the moment, CSLDD fanatic. Beautiful box. And the man of the moment. This is a heavy little sucker. Here we go. Fanatic. Fanatec. Fanatic. Whichever you please. Solid. So, initially I said on my channel, I'm gonna wait until I get 5,000 subscribers before I get one of these. But I couldn't wait. I went ahead and got it anyway. So maybe you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and help me get there. TSL pedals. Decided to go with the TSL pedals and not the V3 pedals. Two main reasons. One, of course, the main reason was the cost. It's not a big difference in cost, but it makes a lot of difference. So one of the reasons I decided to go with this, look at some reviews. It got very good reviews, decent pedal for the price. So went to these instead of the V3s. Bracket, uh, the base. So one of the reason, one of the main reason I decided to go with the CSL pedals, because I do, a, I do a, a pedal cam for my YouTube videos. <clears throat> so the silver will show up a whole lot better than the black uh, iodized or whatever color it is, the black color that the V3s come with. So I decided to go with okay. I was able to convince myself that I can save money and it's better for my videos. So I went with the CSL pedals. Load cell pedal. More stickers. And load cell pedal for the brake. Don't hack me, don't ask me how it works. Oh man, this is 
super stiff. This is super stiff. You definitely need a, a carpet if you're gonna use the low cell pedal, because this is super stiff. Compared to my uh, TLCM, Trustmaster TLCMs, beautiful. I like this, it looks really good. It looks a lot better in person than it does look on YouTube, on videos. The quality of it looks really good. So I'm quite happy I got this actually. Not bad at all, Fnatic. And this guy, CSL Elite Steering Wheel, McLaren GT3 V2. So, one of the reasons I decided to go with the kit, of course, price. So the PS4 8 Nm wheelbase, I think that was retail at 600. The Xbox is retail at 500. One more reason. Second reason, I play Forza as well. So I can use Forza. And also before I'm done, I have the Drive Hub. I'll show you the Drive Hub in a second. So I can use my Drive Hub and play PS5, PS. Gran Turismo 7 on it. And so the first reason, price. Second reason was because I wanted the steering wheel, the steering wheel was the main reason, one of the main reasons I considered getting me building my kit because I wanted McLaren wheel. Beautiful. I wanted to make a McLaren wheel and from reviews, McLaren sorry, from reviews, the PS5 wheel or the PS or the DD Pro wheel is smaller than the McLaren wheel. It's smaller in diameter or whatever, it's smaller. So, and a lot of YouTubers love this wheel. And for the price you get it at, it's like a no-brainer. So, so this, so, so first price, second, getting this wheel. Third reason for building my kit was shipping. So if you bought the, if you bought, if 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 I if I if I purchase, when you purchase the, I might be wrong, but when you purchase the the CSL DD Pro complete wheelbase, complete kit. The shipping is more expensive. I'm assuming because it's a bigger box. As compared to when, because I, I wanted this wheel, and I wanted the load cell pedal. So I had to buy the load cell pedal as well. But I think the package, the shipping cost is more expensive when you buy the one unit. And since I wanted this wheel, it was cheaper. I think if I can remember correctly, it was cheaper for me to just get buy everything separate and pay less shipping. Might be wrong, but I think that's what happened. And this side here, you have buttons. You want to swap out your buttons, I guess. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video. Um, sorry, but I'm no expert. Um, still consider myself a newbie. Been doing this about a year now. So forgive me. If I can't provide you as much information as you want, but this is just an unboxing video. Anyway, the drive hub, basically you connect your wheel to a controller, connect the controller to the drive hub, and then you connect the wheelbase to the drive hub. And that should be able to run the Xbox wheelbase to the PS4. So you have to use one of these if you're gonna do what I did, the drive hub. And I got this thing for like $89 directly from Creative Minds on their website. And one of the things I wanted to do to show how I had my butt kicker set up, which I never did. So I have my butt kicker. So I had a drill, two holes right here. So I can have the feedback coming directly to my feet. It's under the seat. It originally is clamped here, clamped here. But because 
you're sitting on the cushion, you don't really feel the vibrations. You don't get a full effect of it. So I just clamp my butt kicker right up front. Alright YouTube, so finally got everything mounted, set up, and working as it should. I have my drive hub mounted here, this works. I have my McLaren wheel onto the CSL DD wheel base, and everything working good. I have my CSL pedals. I would say my cockpit is now 90% complete, or 99% complete. So I'll just give a quick walk around so you have an idea of what was done. And in another video, I'll show you some of the issues I had having, I wasn't getting the, any, I wasn't getting the drive up to work. It was not, um, it was not allowing the DD, the Xbox, the Xbox wheel, Xbox or the PC wheel to work on the PS4. So I had some software issues on that. So like I said, we do another video so that anyone having the same issues can have something to, to look at to, for some guidance or some help. Um, I needed some help, but I couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna do a quick video on it, what to do. My first impression with this wheelbase, um, almost hated it, almost hated it because I didn't like the the force feedback you're getting from this, to me, it was way too strong and needed. Um, so I think, in my view, the five Nm wheel would be just fine for my taste. So because with eight Nm wheel, when this wheelbase is turned up, it's so powerful. Uh, it's a headache. It's, uh, it hurts my wrist basically to control the car. Um, so if you want to do the five Nm um, or the eight, you decided between the two of them. I'll, I have no, I haven't used the five millimeter, but based on the kind of performance you get out of the eight, I think the five, the five should be just fine because you're not using all the torque in the eight. So I think the five should be, the five millimeter should be fine as well. Just my thought. I'm, not, I'm no expert at this. Um, you can look at other reviews. People <clears throat> went over in detail and compared the two of them. Um, so yeah, that's something you might want to consider. One of the reasons I went with this too, because of availability. The five millimeter wheelbase was not available at the time. So I went to the eight, okay. And also did some upgrades or a mod to the pedal. I'll show you that in another video as well. And also have my uh, Trustmaster um, TH8A shifter have that connected to the drive hub and that works fine as well. So I'll show you that in this video right now. Or maybe I'll just do a separate video. Yeah. So here I have the McLaren wheel, put some stickers on it, put the Fanatic sticker on it. I have the 
drive hub mounted to the top. So you can see I have here, this goes to the, the console, there's a controller, this is the wheelbase, and this here is the shifter, the Thrustmaster shifter, that works fine. I have my pedals right here. You can see my little mod there, I'll talk about my mod. I have my butt kicker, I modified, basically drill two holes, I put up front so you can have all the feedback up front rather than under the seat. And here I have my camera, camera mounted here. So when I'm doing my, my wheel cam, all right? And I have a shifter and that's it. And everything laid out in front of the television set. So I have here, of course, the Xbox, put a nice little Fnatic logo on there. I have my PS4 Pro. Right. So I did an additional, a different video as to why I went to the PS4 Pro. And this for my surround sound. All right. So I have here my Trustmaster TH8A shifter. So I was happy to know that I could use this on my DD wheelbase because I don't have to go buy a new shifter. This works just fine. This works just fine. So it comes in the packet, in the box with this connection here and a USB at the end of it. So you just plug a USB in right here into the drive hub and the shifter works simple the shifter works so i looked at some other youtubers and some some other gamers and i found that different settings that worked so i basically adapted some of their settings uh, tweaked it a little bit to my liking and now 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 i'm loving this wheelbase now i'm loving this wheelbase but my first impression was what did I do? Why did I spend my money on this? But I guess you have to go in and find the best settings for yourself before you can actually enjoy this wheelbase. Because right out of the box, in my opinion, it doesn't feel the greatest. Like, you know, I don't I didn't see the benefit of it. But until I did little upgrades or the little mod and tweak to the to the settings, now I'm loving it. Alright? Alright guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, thanks a lot. Okay.